Howdy folks, and welcome back to Murder Drones. Uh, today we're gonna be watching episode two, which is titled Heartbeat. Uh, and I'd like to start off here right off the bat and uh, kind of give a thank you for how warmly the first episode of this series was received. Uh, it was kind of nerve wracking to kind of start up something new right in the middle of, you know, other stuff I had been working on, uh, kind of uh, like I explained in the last one, given the SAG after strike, uh, they're asking content creators to not promote uh, work from the struck studios or work that would be struck if it were to be made today. So I'm going to keep that up for as long as the strike goes on. Um, but a lot of y'all seem to really dig the uh, me doing murder drones. Uh, I saw a bunch of new names in the comments and some familiar names too from some previous videos. So I'm glad that the people who are watching the other stuff I make aren't just there for those that they're kind of like, you know, gonna watch some of the other stuff I do as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm very, very happy for that. And I'm really excited to watch more of this series. Uh, there was a little bit of clarification given in some of the comments. First of all, they are not on Earth, like I was kind of questioning at the end of the last one. Uh, the planet they're on, I believe, is called Copper 9, uh, which I believe, given the name, is probably a planet where uh, the drones were uh, mining copper for the people of Earth. Um, but yeah, they, it, it, that's the planet that the core kind of stopped and exploded and stuff and killed all the people that were on that planet, uh, leaving just the drones there. So when she said she wanted to go to Earth to murder all the people there, you know, I guess that's still a valid goal. Uh, additionally, also, there was a phrase to keep in mind that appeared a couple times in the first one called, like, I think it was Absolute Solver or something. It kind of flashed on a couple of the drones' uh, visors here and there. Uh, and I was just told to kind of keep that in mind. Uh, specifically, uh, on Uzi at one point, uh, it flashed like absolute solver false and then changed to absolute solver true. So I'm just going to keep that in my mind and uh, see uh, how the show proceeds with that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to watch some more and I hope you are as well. So as I scooch over into position, uh, do all the YouTube things. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video. Blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Uh, and yeah, before we get started, uh, today's tea is a throat comfort uh, in my Houston Greek Festival 50th anniversary mug back in 2016. Wow. Um, I like to show off my cool mugs when I use them. And I don't think I've ever used this one in a video yet. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started with uh, Murder Drones Episode 2, Heartbeat, starting up in 3, 2, 1, go. We've got to curb her trips to the dump. I hear a heartbeat already. And where is she getting the hair to play dress up with them? Creepy. Interesting. This is a setting that's brand new to me. It's like the first time we've seen like an actual like non-industrial looking kind of structure. I guess their school didn't look too industrial, but it still kind of did. Ooh. It's okay. I wasn't looking. That little spark, though. Okay, so that sounds like N. Move it, Mora. Hi, Tessa. Oh no. Tessa. Ooh, what are those? God, I'm seeing like flashes of stuff in here. I guess warning for people who have problems with flashing lights. Interesting. Alternate, not alternate timeline, but a before times memory thing. Also people pointed out that I didn't really make the connection, but the, uh, the disassembly drones are kind of like vampires to a certain extent. They drink the oil from the other drones and the sunlight overheats them and kills them. Ooh. That's weird and concerning. Bite me! This is probably you, weirdo's fault. I've never seen that symbol before. Wanna do an autopsy to find out? <laughs> you I find? love how deranged they all are. Did you know that was a pilot hack? I was the pilot? That's awesome! I crashed and ruined everything. Oh, Spaceship you did. Pilot. Origin story. <laughs> okay, so. I just want to pause real quick uh, while we're right here. Another thing people pointed out is something that kind of confuses people as they go on is that there's kind of time that passes between episodes. Yes, that's normal for like all series, but it seems kind of evident to me here that uh, 
uh, the time passing, there's actual like kind of maybe plot things happening or developments happening off screen uh, that I guess we just kind of have to infer for ourselves. So I'm assuming unless it gets explained later and I just paused way too soon to talk about this, that uh, uh, Uzi and N have been traveling around trying to figure stuff out and all this stuff and have found another disassembly drone to travel with and are investigating N's past to a certain extent is what I'm piecing together so far, at least. So, at this point, I'm kind of glad that people pointed this out, because if I was just watching that, not knowing that, I'd be like, what is even happening? Speaking of piloting so thank you. Earth, we sure murder all humans is uh, morality? The humans sent you without a communication relay and reformatted your memories to soup. I like soup. Covering their tracks means they're past negotiating. Not like they tried negotiating with my mom. Ooh. Well, there goes that wrench. The humans programmed us to solve a problem. Where's proof of your backstory? The one where your kind so conveniently innocent. <laughs> I love her teeth. Like the just kind of like the little jaggies in there. <laughs> oh, look at N being protected. Jane was getting orders from someone. If not the company through that relay, then uh, who and how? Quit complicating my murder. Oh, that had to load her little angry symbol. Once again, I love the <laughs> pat pat. I love the amount of facial stuff that they're able to do on their visors. Yeah, just fix her up, cause whoops, pretty big security risk in nine eight. Uh, you got this uh, ladder about five thousand. Please. We're all about doors, not ceilings here. Still pretty hot. I've said this in a lot of other videos I've done before, but I'm like a super baby when it comes to drinking hot stuff. Like it's gotta be almost lukewarm before I can start drinking it. Rather unfortunate. Also interesting that we're picking back up here and not solely focusing on Uzi after she's gone in her adventures and all that kind of stuff. That's an oil stain. Oh, and that's a heartbeat. A horrifying looking one too. Oh my God. Is that? That's kind of horrifying. Is that organic material mixed in with like robot stuff? Absolute solver. Hold on, it just popped up. I need to there you go just back a second. Boy, this is going to be a lot easier to pull in editing. Uh, but as I'm here on YouTube, it took a couple tries. But uh, we got, uh, you know, it looks like a programming kind of screen, an EXE error. Absolute solver. Uh, Matte collector, material collector. If you can read this, you are in range. I don't know, but hey, pause and look at the stuff at least, like people recommended. Well, he got got. Your daughter has allegedly absent. On that kill all humans kick, like when I was younger, grounded herself and all that. It's Speaking just a phase, of Dad. Behavior. Of course, of course. Or it's Bring not just a phase, Dad. Her supernatural understanding of doors takes after her old man. Uzi, She's actually Uzi, failing Uzi. doors class. Uzi, uh, give what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Fight me, her. I started it, and also I'm dumb. <laughs> Uzi. You have to partner up. Several people wanted to, for the record. No, he didn't. You freak us out. But mostly bite me. <laughs> yeah, she has trouble fitting in. We think there might be something damaged with her programming. How, how is she at home? Uh, sorry? I mean, she's a little herself, but damaged? She's a little I herself. maybe haven't spent much time. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mr. Doorman, Neglect. Sir, been I've been spending too much time on my doors. Oh, I'm sweaty. Who programmed that? Oh. I'm good. Better than good. I am God. 
Interesting. Uh, hi, hi, Dad. Thank you. Thanks for my gun back. Of course, the N and M's. You saved my life. I, I don't think the colony's even serious about all this banishment stuff. I'm more just confused, especially with the fact I'm too rogue to re-enter society now. I can never return. Uh, she's got main character you syndrome now. Appearances and your murder friend's corpse. When I went to grab your gun, it kind of looked like it crawled away. The gun? We can return or the corpse? I mean, we saw something horrific happening. And this looks like the aftermath of something horrific. Yo, ladder about five thousand. We looked everywhere for you. <laughs> S Splatterbot 5000. Will the hotel care to join me? Join you standing eerily still over there in suspiciously low resolution? <laughs> yes? This is not a trap. Why would you ever think that? And he got got. Of course. God, it's like... I'm getting a lot of alien references in this one. Something crawling around in the vents seemed to have burst out of a chest. Ooh. So it's like getting them and like assimilating them like they're holograms. That's interesting. They can get all of that like that quickly. Welcome back, Thad. Uh, oh, wait, isn't she grounded or something? Ugh, banished! Dad been saying I'm grounded? Ugh, I'm banished, but let me back in, please. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, is it gonna say I'm sorry? It says I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, all right. Just don't do it again. Get Good enough for me. Ah, and is so happy. Yeah, where's Khan? Because this looks <laughs> not ideal. Parent Very not ideal. Something about his daughter being more important than building a door in this hallway. Ugh. He does care. You, yeah. Oh, give me a uh, yeah. okay. I'm, right. I'm about to puke. Who programmed that into me? Oh, stop asking. <laughs> Did you Any understand that? Forensic things mm -mm. over there. Do we have fingerprints? Uh oh. Uh oh. All of them. Oh, even the crime scene tape? Even her coffee? I love how horrific this is. I mean, also, it's cute it's that a drone would need shades. Do you? I left her for dead once. <laughs> it sounds like she's bored in your class, and the other kids suck. Okay, <laughs> playing solitaire. And I will install a door on your face. Where are your folks? Dead. Oh, okay. I was gonna say the subtitles popped up. I was like, wait, what? Idiot. Also, I saw the thing in the door before. I just didn't point it out. Gorgeous, right? I'm gonna let her in. Bad idea. Very bad idea. You guys do that often? So conveniently, they're gonna be the only ones that don't fall for the uh, hologram stuff. So, pretty frightened a little bit. Concerned and frightened. Good combo. What's this thing? Hey. Isn't that your special eye? Don't call it that. Special eye. Absolute solver? Reboot? Does this have something to do with how you grew your head back? <laughs> I actively avoid unpacking how that works. New material can't be pulled from thin air. If the wound is severe enough, this solver might be some sort of auto run program to collect more matter. Hmm. I think he sees it. Oh. That looks organic. Thing? The hand does, at least. Not that. 
Jump scare. Oh, that's huge. Oh my god, that's big. Even better than a jump scare. Just like seeing like that little bit of how big it is. It's good for the ninja star. N. Nice. I want a freaking ninja star. <laughs> Just like all that anime I pirated last time. Uh, you good? Uh, stop asking! <laughs> Chainsaw hand time? Yeah, cool, cool. Nice. <laughs> just running around, just like... <laughs> ah, nobody touch me! Yes, and hello, it's me, Tad. Um, you definitely just didn't see me die. I heard Dennis' office. I'm I saw N's tail, Dennis like, kind office. of like, or whatever that is, like, floating behind him, and I thought it was the monster for a second. Predictably terrible work, Jay. Why do you look so... Great! You look great, Jay. No, oh no, wait, guys, it's really me. Is that a battle for me? It's me, just start. <laughs> oh, she kicked it, nice. <gasps> oh no, the real fat. Or Tad. Whatever his name is. My shindig next weekend. Cool kids only. Okay, so that is Jay. I mean Jay who was so killed whatever. last time. So lame. What's with the voice, Jay? Oh, Jay's not here. We are trying to repair that host as per our directive. So you are Interesting. A program? More like you are our cute puppets. It hurts our feelings you don't remember us. Mmm. And what's with the mom hologram? Easier to Mom-a-gram? explain. Not happening. Fair, but poor choice. Now we oh God, have to do I love it. Shocking. Whoa. Hey! Goodbye, Dad. Oh, God! That wasn't a hologram. Oh, my God, just ripped him in half. What? Jeez Louise. Ouch, that mildly hurt. I love how many... Boy, what those hands do, though. Oh, no. She did fall for it. Well, there goes the gun. Mouth time. Once again, the music. Very good. I love it. I'm getting big GLaDOS energy from... Oh, that doesn't fail safe. Cryo sleep. System error. Ah. Uh... Aw, oh, he saved her. Also, I was getting big GLaDOS energy from uh, the J host solver. Is that a black hole? Is that like a moving black hole? Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaking away. Get snuck upon. Ow. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not very ow. sneaky when you're. Ow, 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 ow. What is that? It's distorting like the It's distorting like the light around it, which What are you things? What are they? Are they like human consciousnesses or like parts? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got to read it. We're almost done with the episode, but I got to read the thing. Your cryosleep pods ran into a problem and need to restart. We're just collecting some info. This will do it for you. 0% complete. Some of that was, I couldn't read a couple of those words there. See? What are you doing? <laughs> Aw. So I guess her dad's okay then. I thought that was her dad that ripped in half though. Unless it was an, also part of the hologram.
This is intriguing because it's the disassembly drones are going so far beyond like what they were kind of set up to be in that first episode. There's so much more to them. Is that a cockroach? It looks kind of like a beetle or cricket. Gorgeous, right? I'm gonna let her in. Oh. Uh, sorry, industrial strength ghost or whatever. Settle. So that three arrows symbol, is that the solver symbol? I mean, I saw it on there and I saw it on her eye. Oh. My. I hate your personality normally, but this is somehow worse. What am I being punished for? So that's V, right? Oh, she's not even chained up. My friend. Did N write that as well? Dang. Okay, so there's a lot more here. I don't think there were any particularly new voices, at least nobody that I would recognize, I don't think. Um, but there is there is a lot more there based on what we got in the first one. I was kind of curious. I know people said that, you know, we kind of explore the world, or I think I might have said that, that we might explore more of the planet and more of the world and stuff. But, like, even more so than was set up in the first episode, uh, there's just so much more going on and i know that like you know all series will do that right they no good series will like reveal their whole hand immediately right uh there's like pretty much any show i've ever watched i don't know why i would have expected this to be any different uh but even just from episode one to two there's just so much more like openness and stuff to think about the solvers what the disassembly drones actually are what's up with the organics organic machine stuff going on um I loved all the horror stuff in this one. Just the the V ass or J assimilation with like all the tentacles and the claws and everything. Oh, it was great. I loved it. Um, I'm sorry if I was a little quiet at parts and not really saying too much. I was just trying to take in and kind of understand. Like I'm definitely gonna have to watch this one again. Uh, watched a couple reactions to the first one the other day, so I've, I've at least seen the first one a couple times. Granted, through different eyes so to speak um re-watching someone else watch it basically but uh, uh so i feel like i got a decent little grasp on that plus all the comments y'all were leaving uh, i'm sure i missed so much stuff in this one um but i enjoyed it i loved the, the horror aspect even more so than in the first episode where it was i'd say maybe less so horror and more so just action stuff uh this was legitimately like i said it felt like stuff out of alien um with stuff crawling around in the vents, getting bigger, assimilating more stuff. Um, and the black hole thing, like the a sentient black hole. Uh, it was distorting the light I saw around there, which that's why I went to black hole first, even if it wasn't like sucking in everything. I guess technically black holes don't do that. It's just no light escapes from them, whatever. Um, uh, but yeah, like interesting stuff to think about. Like I'm definitely gonna have to give this one like a lot more time to digest. I know I stopped for a good bit to kind of, uh, you know, kind of look at stuff paused and all that, but uh, um, yeah, really good stuff. Uh, just so many questions. And then even like that first, that first scene, like I totally forgot about it until just now where they're in like a house being like butlers to these like shadow creatures. Like, oh, there's just a lot here. Like I can just tell that like the lore on the show is just gonna like, as it goes on, just expand to be huge uh, when it was kind of, you know, from the beginning set up just to be like disassembly drones versus the worker drones and kind of them clashing with each other uh a lot more than that is going on here uh and i love it i'm i'm, I'm very much enjoying this so far and i'm glad y'all are as well so like i said leave me a comment here uh, let me know a couple things i missed for this one uh there is some stuff i'm gonna find in editing and watching other reactions but uh, if there's anything huge that I missed. I, I did my best to kind of keep the solver stuff in my mind and notice it when it popped up. And uh, I think at least I'm onto something. Like when I see that symbol of the three arrows, um, it's some kind of auto run program solver stuff going on. Uh, 
yeah, I guess we'll see as we move forward. Uh, there's a couple episodes to go, and uh, I, I don't know how quick these are coming out. Uh, it looks like episode three was five months ago. Episode four was three months ago, so maybe every two months or so. I think the last one came out a little over a month ago, so maybe by the time I get to episode five, episode six will have just come out, and we'll be uh, hey, all caught up for that one whenever that happens. Uh, but yeah. Uh, like I said, do all the YouTube things, leave a comment, like the video, all the stuff, and I'll catch you next time with some more murder drones. Take easy, everybody.